Hello guys! Andito na naman ako para magbigay sa inyo ng kalaman tungkol sa math. Ang topic natin ngayon ay exponents. Tara, simulan na natin! So what are exponents? Exponents are just repeated multiplications. For example, 2 to the power 5 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It is 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. So, equals 32. In our example, 2 is called the base. And 5 is called the exponent. These are the laws of exponents. So, we're going to discuss each one of these laws. So, we know that x to the power of 0 equals 1. And x to the power of 1 equals x itself. So, x to the second power or x squared equals x times x. x cubed or x to the third power equals x times x times x. What about negative exponents? So, negative exponents are just 1 divided by x. And that kind of makes sense because positive integers are the inverse of negative integers. And multiplication is the inverse of division. So, positive integers and negative integers are the inverse. So, we get division. 1 divided by x. So, mathematicians like it to have a uh, fraction form. So, 1 over x. Or, in, this ca in that case, 1 over x to the 1. And then we have x to the negative 2, which has 1 divided by x divided by x, and so on. x to the negative 3 is 1 divided by x divided by x divided by x. So it is equal to 1 over x times x. And that's equal to 1 over x squared. Let's go to the next law. The next law tells us that x raised to the power m and then you have parentheses and then that whole x to the power m is raised again to the power n we get x to the m and n so let's let's prove that uh, law so m squared and then parentheses to the power of 3 so, our law tells us that m will be raised to the power 2 times 3 equals m to the power 6. Let's see if that's true. So, m squared equals m times m, right? So, we need these two to raise it to the power 3. So, let's see. m times m. This is one pair. And then another one, m times m. So we got 2 now. And then m times m again. This is just this. So let's count how many m's we got. So how many m's we got means how many exponents we got. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. So that proves our law works. So this is the uh, fifth law. So we have here, if we have x to the power m, and then multiply that by x to the power n, we have x to the m plus n. So let's have an example. So 2 cubed times 2 fourth. You can see it's the same base because that's what the rule says. So that equals 2 to the power 3 plus 4. Let's break it down to uh, prove that this law is true. So we break it down, we got 2, 2 times 2 times 2, and then we got 4, which means it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So these are 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 2 to the power 7, which means the law is right. 
let's go to the uh, inverse of that inverse you get it because this is multiplication this is division this is addition and the inverse of addition is yes subtraction so we got right here an example 5 cubed over 5 squared so we can expand it out so we get 5 cubed equals 5 times 5 times 5 and then over 5 times 5 so how do we do this so we can cancel it. so uh, let's say two cancels so we're left with five and there's always one at the bottom but uh, we don't uh, we don't put it right there because it's always a factor so this is five or five to the one so our law is right but the law is a uh, the law can be altered or it's not altered it's uh you can switch the numerator and the denom and the denominator so right here zoom in uh, a to the fourth over a to the six equals a to the power of six minus four but oh it's uh sorry what a typo it's a Four minus six because it's always four. You can see right there in the rule we got m in the numerator and then you got n in the denominator and then you always go with the uh, numerate numerator first rather than the second one. So it's four minus six. So a to the four minus six is negative. So a to the power of negative two. So we know from the uh, third rule that it is a reciprocal. Reciprocal. If you have, a, uh, let's say, two thirds, and then you have the reciprocal of two over three is uh, three halves. So you just flip it. If you watched my division video. It's linked right here. So if you watch that video, you can see that reciprocals are used in division of fractions. It's uh, it's also used in the uh, third law of exponents. So let's expand this to this. Wow, Whoa. we have a lot of eights right there. A times a times a times a. A times a times a times a times a times a. So. We should cancel these. So I got one, two, three, four. So we need to cancel four in the denominator as well. One, two, three, four. So we always have a factor of one right here. So it is equal to one now. And then we got a times a, which is a squared. So this is the last law or rule of exponents. It says, the quantity xy raised to the power m equals x to the power m times y to the power m. So we have a squared times b squared equals the quantity ab to the power of 2. So this is like undistributing because the rule says distributing. It also says about undistributing. So how do we prove that it works? So Luckily, we have a uh, uh, an example. So, AB, the quantity squared, equals A times B times A times B. So, we can uh, do this expression because of the commutative property. A times A times B times B equals A squared times B squared. So, that proves our law works. Let's move on to the next law. This is the same because it's it's uh, distributing as well, but you can also undistribute it. So we have a squared over b squared, then equals the quantity a b squared. How do we prove that it works? We have a times a over 
b times b. We can also simplify this as a squared over b squared. Here's our problem for today's video. What is x? 2 to the power 4 times 3 to the power 5 times 4 to the power x divided by 2 squared times 2 squared times 3 squared times 3 cubed equals 64. So we need to find what is x. Let's move on to the, the next question. 3 to the power 5 times 2 cubed times 9 times 5x times 5 to the power of x divided by 8 times 3 to the power of 6 equals 75. So we need to find what is x. At Janadata po sa ating video. Stay tuned for more educational videos and song covers. God bless as always. Thanks for watching. Bye!